இசைஞானி இளையராஜாவிற்கு பிரதமர் நரேந்திர மோடி கௌரவ டாக்டர் பட்டம் வழங்குகிறார் காந்தி கிராம பல்கலைக்கழக துணைவேந்தர் குர்மித் சிங் பேட்டி திண்டுக்கல் அடுத்துள்ள சின்னாலம்பட்டி காந்தி கிராம பல்கலைக்கழகத்தில் முப்பத்தி ஆறாவது பட்டமளிப்பு விழா நாளை பதினோராம் தேதி நடைபெற உள்ளது இதில் பிரதமர் மோடி முதல்வர் ஸ்டாலின் தமிழக கவர்னர் ரவி ஆகியோர் கலந்து கொள்ள உள்ளனர் தொற்று காரணமாக கடந்த இரண்டாயிரத்தி பதினெட்டாம் ஆண்டு முதல் பட்டமளிப்பு விழா நடைபெறவில்லை இதனை அடுத்து நாளை நடைபெறும் விழாவில் இரண்டாயிரத்தி பதினெட்டு பத்தொன்பது இரண்டாயிரத்தி பத்தொன்பதிலிருந்து இரண்டாயிரத்தி இருபது முதுகலை இளங்கலை டிப்ளமோ முடித்த இருபத்தி மூன்று பதினான்கு மாணவ மாணவிகளுக்கு பட்டங்கள் வழங்கப்படுகிறது இதில் அதிக மதிப்பெண் எடுத்து தங்கப் பதக்கம் பெற்ற நான்கு பேருக்கு பிரதமர் மோடி பட்டம் வழங்க உள்ளார் மேலும் இசைஞானி இளையராஜாவிற்கு மிருதங்க வித்வான் உரிமையாள்புரம் சிவராமன் ஆகிய இருவருக்கும் கௌரவ டாக்டர் பட்டத்தை பிரதமர் மோடி வழங்குகிறார் Well, friends, very good morning to all of you. As uh, you would have by now come to know from your own sources that we are having our convocation. This is the 36th convocation of the university that is going to be held tomorrow, the 11th of November, after lunch. And uh, our honourable Prime Minister, the Prime Minister who has taken India to world scene, and everybody has started respecting our country. he is going to be the chief guest for tomorrow's function he will be addressing and giving the convocation address along with him we are also going to have our chief minister uh, mr stalin and uh, the governor honorable governor of the state mr n ravi uh, they will be accompanying him we shall also have uh, minister of information and broadcasting from the union cabinet who is also looking after the animal husbandry department along with fisheries department of the country he will also be there with us in this convocation uh, chancellor of course uh, would be the one who would be welcoming all the guests and he will be declaring the convocation open the convocation as we carry out every year will be done in a routine manner we will be awarding the phd degrees uh, post graduation degrees mphil degrees under graduation degrees and along with that some diplomas will also be given so all these degrees would be given and uh, probably you would be knowing i need not tell you that this is being held after a gap of 2 years because of covid we could not hold our annual convocation earlier so therefore this is for 2 years 18 19 and 19 20 uh, therefore the those students who have passed out in this period they would all be getting their degrees and this number is a sizable number therefore in order to save time and to be in line with whatever prime minister's office advised us we shall be uh, awarding uh, on stage four medals i should have said that that the all medal winners will also be honored during this con- convocation and uh, just to motivate encourage and send a message that academics is a very important entity which is needed in our country for the right progress we are uh, awarding four medal winners on the stage with the through the hands of our honorable prime minister we have chosen two males and two females for this honor one male and one female one male and one uh, female would be from the post graduation category and the other male and female will be from the undergraduate category the persons we have chosen is are the ones who have scored the highest marks no question of any subject or class or uh, course or year highest scoring person is being awarded so the symbolic gesture will be there and the prime minister shall himself award the four medal winners uh, to encourage as i said all our young minds in addition to that all the degrees will be given and the procedure we are going to adopt is that this will be the the candidates will be presented by the senior most dean as the procedure is and he only will be uh, administering the oath to the candidates and uh, after that the chancellor shall close the convocation after which our honorable guests would uh, leave the venue for their respective other programs 
that's the thing and the other important information which i would like to share with you is you know there have been um, stalwarts who have contributed very richly to the growth of our culture to the growth of growth of our academics to the growth of our society in the uh, in right earnest in the right manner uh, so those uh, who have contributed very richly to these areas Uh, sometimes we find that they are very highly qualified sometimes because of their love for their own uh, profession they are not able to get the formal education but to honor their contribution their rich contribution to our society we universities award sometimes honoris causa also honorary degree doctor of letters and we have our university has decided by following a routine procedure two names one is that of great uh, music composer singer lyricist showman uh, a person respected all over the world and a person who is known all over the world dr elia raja is the one who will be honored in tomorrow's convocation and the other uh, luminary who will be honored tomorrow will be great uh, mrijangam player mr sarvanan uh so sir shivraman shri shivraman kashi vanantan shivraman uh, is a great uh, uh, artist who has contributed richly to the art of mridangam mridangam is a very important uh, instrument in our carnatic uh, music in fact all the temples when you visit in the evening and morning and whenever we sing any hymn any bhajan uh, anything in respect of god mridangam is always played along with that without mridangam the temple music is not complete and in all other classical concerts also you would have seen so uh, this great artist has contributed very richly he is 87 years of age and has been awarded uh, with padma vibhushan padma bhushan and padma shri throughout his long career in which he has he's got a great contribution to our indian carnatic music uh, he is being honored also with the degree of doctor of letters so this is the information i thought i'll have briefly for your information if there's any question you have i'll be very happy to answer how many people are participating how many people are participating total in two years that number we can give it to you yes gold medalists are about 120 what is the we'll give you the exact number In fact, the number will share with you. What is the total number? One fifteen. One fifteen medal winners and uh, I think about three thousand five hundred total degree holders. What is the number? Two three one four is the total number of uh, students who have passed out, and they will be given the uh, degrees in for two years, two thousand eighteen nineteen and two thousand nineteen twenty. This is the total number, isn't it? Two three one four.